Louder isn't always better. Today I'm going to share with you guys the technique that I think has helped me change the way I think about um, shaping my sounds, distorting my sounds, EQing my sounds, compressing my sounds. So, uh, and also giving myself headroom. It, it, it factors into so many equations. So, I've got the snare drum here, so let's have a listen. Cool, so it's nice and loud and they've done a lot of processing on it already. Uh, what I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, show you a plugin. So I recently uh, got onto this VU meter. Okay, so uh, w what this is doing is it's measuring or giving us a measure of the volume of the sound, more like our human ear, how it picks it up, and um, this can be helpful for a lot of reasons. When you, when you get this meter to tickle, zero decibels, um, it's roughly uh, 18 decibels below uh, digital clipping or below um, what we think of as the maximum amount of digital headroom that we have. So if I play this, you can see that it's actually going 8 decibels over that. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into this clip and I'm going to bring it down 8 decibels cool so let's play that again cool so it's just hitting that meter perfect all right so what have i done i've just turned that down in volume now that's not all that interesting but what i want to show you is if i come over here and if i got uh, fab filter satin and i placed it on that plugin um, and i wanted to saturate the sound uh, i could flick through a bunch of these presets and Listen to a bunch of them. Cool. All right. So let's take that one as an example. Let's say I liked that one. Um, I know that before Saturn, this meter was tickling the zero decibels. So if I go ahead and play that again, okay, you can see that now it's back up to six decibels. So what's happened? So the saturation has added volume to the sound. And then when I'm listening to the character of what I think to be the saturation, maybe I'm not consciously thinking, well, oh shit, it's actually increased the volume as well. So I could just be simply hearing that it's louder and my brain automatically thinks, oh, that's louder, it must be better. But that is absolutely not the case at all. What I want to achieve with the Saturn uh, plugin is not volume, I want to achieve the character of the saturation or the distortion or, or whatever it is I've, I've programmed in or whatever preset I'm using. So let's play it. Sweet. All right. Well, I know that that's six decibels of distraction from really what's going on. So I'm going to pull that down, the output of this plugin, down to negative four. Cool. It's still clipping. Let's come down. A uh, it's not clipping, but it's still over zero. Let's come down a bit more. And even a little bit more. Uh, my ear's probably not going to notice 0 0.3 decibels, but... Okay, so now we've got that. So we can easily turn that Saturn off. Now we're getting a proper AB of the difference that that Saturn plugin is making. So, that's perfect, but let's take it to another example. Let's... EQ it, so, okay, I want to cut the low, and I'm going to do it really dramatically, I'm going to boost the fundamental, okay, and then I'll cut the tops, sweet, that's, let's say that that's exactly what we want, and it sounds perfect, all right? Um, let's go over to our VU plugin. Okay, so I'm adding volume again, and that's likely due to the fact that I'm boosting by 3.5 decibels and uh, a little bit here. So let's pull the outgoing volume down. Let's pull it down a little bit more. Okay, perfect. And then I can turn the plugin on. And off and I can a B it correctly sweet and then again 
let's take a compressor, let's clean it up, let's set the ratio, um, let's say we, we don't want to bite on this attack too quickly, so we'll say about 10 microseconds are away, we're at 140, so let's say we want to relatively slow release. Okay, cool. So here I can see my gain reduction. I can see that I am losing about three decibels. Cool. And usually uh, plugins have an auto makeup gain. Cool. So I've got negative three. Let's come over here. So I'm definitely losing three decibels. And I'm not going to let the automatic gain do it. I'm going to do it manually. So I'm going to bring that up to 2.4. And then I can. Cool. Now that compressor, you can definitely hear, it's, hear that it's bringing more life out of the tail end of that of that snare. So this is how we make intelligent decisions with our plugins. And I can also um, go ahead and I, I can group all of that and uh, play it and then turn it off. And I still get the same volume and I can hear absolutely everything that I've done. So this is how we make a calculated attempt at coloring sound. Now the reason why the VU meter um, is a thing and why we, we're, we're sitting it here is because in the day analog equipment had a sweet spot for how audio was getting fed into it. So if you set it in at an appropriate level you would get the best character out of that piece of equipment so to speak. So this is basically equi the equivalent. I'm not sure whether that's true also in the digital world. Maybe somebody out there can tell me. But I know that this is great because it's going to give me a lot of headroom. So when I'm sending my tracks to a mastering engineer, they're not going to be telling me to turn anything down. And I know that the decisions that I make are not influenced by volume. They're influenced by the actual coloration and change of that sound. So I hope that this video was really helpful to you guys. Go out there and get a VU meter. There's heaps of free ones. And I'll see you in another video. Thanks. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook. You can uh, find my music pages uh, in the links in the comment description below. You can jump on our Discord server. I've got the link for that down below. And I just want to alert you guys about um, Steemit. DTube and DSound. So if you guys are into cryptocurrency, I've got links for all of that down in the video description. I've got profiles on there, so jump on and follow me. And uh, these platforms look really promising and look like they're really going to change things for content producers. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video.